What's up Noob Crew? Thanks for clicking, welcome to another video. In this video we've got this, which is the ZD Racing EX16. It's a cool little car. I always wanted the uh, EX7, which is the big one, but they're really expensive. I don't have that kind of money to, to uh, spend at the moment, guys. So uh, I've got this one here. Now, the good thing about this car is it comes with absolutely no stickers on it. All the stickers, are here obviously it's not licensed uh, I don't think you're ever going to see this car on our native shores uh, due to licensing issues but you have to put all the stickers on yourself and we all know I love fitting stickers so we're not going to use our hands to put the stickers on we're going to use magic yes you remember magic <laughs> from the video way back I've lost my magic wand but I've progressed in our magic skills now and I can do it just using my hands so here we go. Oh, Abracahunicus! Eat that, Harry Potter. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. So we've got all the stickers on now. Um, now I wonder if, obviously, we've got some license, licensing issues here. But I wonder if, because you have to fit your own stickers, if there's some loophole in licensing. Also, the sheet here that tells you where all the stickers go, you'll notice there's no numbers next to any of the ones that would be license infringements. So perhaps if you fit them yourself, ZD Racing can say, nothing to do with us. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It's a weird one. But anyway, it's a cool little car. Um, it's a little 1 16th scale uh, drift car. It's based on the I can't remember what the other ZD Racing Eye is. I'll put it here. Uh, it's basically the same car. It's just it's got a different body shell on. Uh, in the box, you get some instructions. You get the stickers. You get a sheet where to put the stickers apart from the licensing issue ones. You get a small little, uh, looks like a balance charger in there. And you get what is basically a ZD Racing uh, branded Dumbo RC. These are a good transmitter, guys. It's what I use. I've got two, but I use this for a lot of my cars. You can find, these are really cheap to buy, like 26 pounds, something like that, from Banggood. And you can find as many receivers from cars to this transmitter as possible. You can't select through the cars, but basically, you could in theory have all your cars running off this one transmitter, and it's not very hard to do. So let's have a look. Before we get into the car, this is the box. Now we've got this one here, which is the Pro. If you look on the end of the box here, you'll see there's three different types. You've got the brushed one there, you've got the brushless one there, and you've got the pro one here. The pro one's what we've got. Uh, the biggest diff visual difference is the wheels. You can see the wheels are different. Talking of the wheels, these wheels are actually aluminium wheels, guys. They're actually metal, which is a cool little thing. The body shell itself comes off. We've got lights, lights front, and lights rear that plug into the receiver here. And it's quite a nice little body shell. Uh, the stickers are really annoying to put on, uh, unless you use magic, of course, but they, if you have to put them on yourself, they're, they're quite annoying to put on. But I suppose you've got a bit of artistic license as well. And I'm sure this is not an exact replica of what the, the Hoonicorn is from Ken Block, because um, I've got some in the wrong place, definitely. But moving on to the little car, it's cool. It's got a little tiny brushless motor in there. As I say, it's got a separate full-size receiver, a proper three-wire steering servo, and the brushless motor plugs into a, was it 45 amp? I think it's a 45, it doesn't say. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description down below to, so you can have a look at it yourself, guys. It came from AliExpress, it's the only place you can find it. Bought this car from AliExpress, little quick note on AliExpress, first time I've used them, no problem with using AliExpress. You can use, um, you can use PayPal to make your payments. Very good tracking progress, uh, showed me where it was in the world and how quickly it was getting to me, right up to my front door today. The only thing I would say though, if you're buying stuff from their website, is when you look on their website, all the prices on their website are subject to the uh, VAT tax or import tax duty to your country. So just bear that in mind. For the UK, you've got around 20% to the price because that's what their VAT is in our country. Other than that, it's a cool little car. The differences between the brushless and the Pro is you get the aluminium wheels and you also get these cool 
little oil shock absorbers. You can't really see on camera how small they are. They did the little things, but there's a, it's a cool little feature. Aluminium oil field, aluminium chassis, sorry, aluminium shock towers, aluminium top deck, and a beautiful looking aluminium chassis on the bottom there. You also get this little 1500 mAh two cell LiPo. Everything you need, four wheel drive, metal bearings throughout, it says metal gears, I'm not going to dispute it, I'm definitely not going to take it apart, it's way too small for my eyesight, um, but metal gears and metal differentials, it looks pretty cool. You can obviously get different bodies, there's several in incarnations of this car already, so you've got a Porsche and you've got a, I can't remember the other ones, but there are some other bodies you can buy for that, but why would you want to buy any body apart from that? That's the only reason I bought it, is because of this body. Price-wise, this version is more expensive than the other versions. This one is worked out, by the time it got to me, £132. Free postage, but obviously with the import duty on it. Which I don't think is bad money for the, what you get, because you get a lot of aluminium, a lot of upgrade parts. I don't think there's anything you can actually upgrade on this thing. It's probably fully done. I'm not sure what the little motor is. It's not smaller than a 382, 282, 60. I don't know, but it's, it looks adequate for the car anyway. So. What we'll do now, we'll charge our battery, we'll get it out, give her a drift, see how much fun we can have. I'll be honest guys, I don't really care if it doesn't even move. It looks so cool with that body on. I'd be happy just to leave it on the shelf like that. But we're not gonna, we're gonna take it out and give it a spin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're out with the little EX16. As you can see, we've got the lights on. And it looks cool. But first things first, let's get a speed run done. I'm interested to see how fast it is. Right, so we shouldn't need much room. I think they need to do about 20, but let's see. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to drift well because it's already drifting. You could probably do a stability program. Now the Dumbo RC, as we know, some of them, the six channel ones, have a stability program, so it's a bit of a weird choice not to put it on this. Well, we got, we're getting flat out, let's have a look. Sixteen, sixteen miles an hour. Now I know it should go a bit faster than that. It's a little bit icy this morning. We'll try it again. I know they, they should do about twenty, but it is, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, it's got enough power to not be very controllable. Oh no, we've hit a curb. I was going to say the tyres getting a bit warmed up now, but uh, apparently they're not. Is it any better? No, 16. Oh God, guys, why do people do this? Uh, we've smashed up a trolley, we've got glass everywhere, there's some rubbish. The council have been nice enough to build a skate park and then someone comes down and trashes it. Oh well. All right, well, we've got 16 mile an hour out of it. I know it does more than 16 mile an hour, uh, but like I say it is a bit cold, a bit frosty on the ground, and we're definitely losing traction. But what we want to know is, how does it hoon? Now call it drifting, call it hooning, call it power sliding, call it what you like guys. It's still cool. It's all sliding isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
car itself is cool. I mean, it looks cool. It looks really cool. I don't, like I said before when we were in the studio, I don't really care if it doesn't move. It just looks so cool. But it also works very. It handles well. Um, it's very responsive. And it definitely power slides, drifts, whatever you want to call it. It's got enough power. It's perfect really, it's got enough power for what you want, but not so much power that you're going to crash it all the time. Although I probably will crash it all the time. And with a little bit of frost on the ground, it's awesome. about a J turn <laughs> it works really well guys don't get me wrong I'm a rubbish drifter power slider both of the things but I wish I wasn't a bit more practice but once you get the hang of it Oh, it's the car. I think this would probably be the perfect car for it as well, because like I said, it's got enough power. I mean, if you give it give it the full beans, it will lose the back end quite nicely. But it's small enough and... Whoa. <laughs> And if you get a little bit of area with no traction, <laughs> it's awesome fun. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death. Look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one, the gay song. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Baby, the night is young So let's have some fun If you love me Okay guys, that's it for the little EX16 um, from ZD Racing. It's a cool little car, guys. Um, they're going to be hard to get hold of, I think. I think the only place, they might come across to all the sort of to your bang goods and your maker fires, but at the moment it's just AliExpress. As I said, not a bad place to get it from. Um, it's fast enough. I say I've got 16 miles now. I've seen them do 20. This will do 20. It's just, as you can see, there's not a lot of traction today because it's a bit cold. But that makes it more fun with a little drift car. I enjoy this. One thing little drift cars are, or power sliders, is um, they're good fun. You can get very, you can get very caught up in the moment. Um, you can spend hours just drifting around a bottle. Uh, doesn't make the greatest video, I'm sure, but you can just uh, have fun with it. And because it's small, um, you can take it anywhere. You know, you, can, you don't need much room. And I think that makes it a winner, guys. That and the fact it's a Hoonicorn. Who doesn't love a Hoonicorn? It's got. <laughs> It's got some licensing issues, but if you overlook the uh, licensing issues and accept the fact that it looks cool, it's a cool car. Uh, good one for me, guys. I'll keep this one. 
I'll just look at it on the shelf because it's beautiful. So that's it from me, guys. My name's Ben. This is Nate Barcy. I'll see you in the next one.